Hey guys, I wanted to talk to you a little bit about uh, Evernote, show you how I've been using uh, Evernote differently to capture ideas and things like that than I was previously. You probably already know ideas kind of come and come and you could lose them. You wake up in the morning and forget what you thought about last night right as you were going to bed. So it's great to have something that's quick to capture all the ideas. Evernote, I think, is a good way of, of doing that. There's a lot of other options. Uh, this is what I've kind of landed on right now. Basically, instead of using all of these tags and there, you can create a new notebook, and I used to have a notebook for every project, making new notes in there, I'd have to think kind of and move the note before I actually ended up uh, making it. There's all these things I did on, front, on the front half of writing down the idea versus just capturing the idea. What I did was change all of that, and now I just basically start off everything with a tag uh, in the title. Okay, so most half of my notes are just, you know, just titles right here. Here's an example. It's just a title. It's just enough to get me thinking about stuff. And QFA, that's one of my projects. It's an abbreviation for one of my projects. QB Chase. I wrote a blog called B Chase, and so this is my tag for it. I use the capital Q in front of whatever tag I basically set up. Because, you know, QB Chase isn't going to show up somewhere. Then I, instead of setting up folders and tags for each one of these things, I just do a saved search. So this saved search for B Chase, for example, is um, starting with QB Chase. Uh, so this is a really quick way to start up a new note. I have a new idea. I'll just go um, tell everyone how awesome they are and now my notes created right I can add a bunch of stuff in here yada, yada yada and that's it one note about how I write actually inside of here I might even write the blog in here which is easy I can just go this is my title I'm gonna make a little list of you're cool you're unique you're special and then I go so be yourself now, I wrote that in what's called Markdown. I talked about it a little bit before. Um, Markdown is excellent, an excellent way to just to take notes like this. And I can take, I can grab that, open up TextMate, I can paste that in here. Tell this it's a Markdown document, and then simply go to. I know all the keyboard shortcuts for this stuff, but I'll show you what this looks like. What it does is it converts all of that to HTML. So now if I did my little thing and turned it into um, convert document to HTML, boom, there's my blog post. I read it, I wrote it over here, just like that. It's really easy to read. Hello. And then I bring it over here, I convert it to HTML, I copy that, and I put that into the blog directly. So um, Writing in Markdown is a really helpful way to do this stuff. Let's see. That's it. So using Evernote, super quick. Um, I love that it syncs with my iPhone. I love this new way of doing things where I've basically just got my tag that starts with Q in front of Chase. The reason why I use Q is because there, you know, there isn't very many words that are going to be starting with Q and then have just a couple things after that. So, and on your iPhone, it's like right there next to your thumb. I learned that little trick from Merlin Mann. Um, so yeah, maybe you uh, maybe you like some of this, and you're gonna put that into your workflow as well. Cheers, thanks.